What about these portable air filters that you can have in your home? Can you talk a little bit about those and if you have any favorite ones? So the portable air filters are really interesting. I have one at home and we bought it for the mold exposure a while back. And I really haven't looked at it since because out here it's not so bad, the air quality. But I will say that it was interesting because I got to look at that and compare it to what I'm reading. You want a company that, number one, I don't talk about companies, so I'm not going to be promoting. I never do any of that. But I will say, number one, you want to look for a HEPA filter, air filter. It has to be certified as HEPA, which cleans 99.7 or 99.97% of particular matter. That alone, just having HEPA as a standard is really not hard to find. You can find that in Mount and most. The other thing to look at is something called the clean air delivery rate, the CADR. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look at your portable filter, you will and should see a CADR in a reputable filter, right? If you don't see a CADR, that might be questionable to begin with. Here's the thing about clean air delivery rate. You want to match the size of your air filter, your portable air filter, the space of what you're trying to clean. You can't just clean an auditorium with a little filter, right? That would be ridiculous. Sure. The idea is that the general rule is about a 300 CADR is what you want for every 500 square feet. But essentially, you want a rate that's going to be able to handle the space. Sure. That you, need. And you might need a couple of them. They're not terribly expensive, but you want to make sure that if you're going to do this, you, you know, you want to try to get it right.